Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Emmerich and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy where right now we're in the Winter Tundra, the last world in Spyro 2, Richter's Raid, trying to collect all the gems and orbs and right now I see Moneybags who is going to offer me a new ability. And like all the best things, it uh, doesn't come cheap. No, it never does. A thousand gems. The dash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. Yes, thank you for that. Piece of wisdom. I shall use that. Head bash. That was the final ability I needed to use, so... Okay, it doesn't work on that. I think it works only on the rocks. Yeah, there we go. Sorted. So that's the final ability, so you now learn how to swim, we've now learned how to climb ladders, and now um, we can now use head bash to break open these massive pieces of rock or chests in the game. Ooh, an orb. That's handy. Now we're with the tundra, there are three orbs? Yes, we've got one of them on 400 gems. What we'll have to do as well, now that we've learned how to use this ability, is go back to previous levels. I think it was Shady Oasis and Fracture Hills, and we need to complete them at 100% now that we have this ability. Because there were some challenges to collect some orbs. I know Hunter offered us a challenge before now to use the Head Bash ability on the Earth Shapers, and I can't remember what Shady Oasis was. Uh, destroy. Oh, hang on. Get that. Nice. Break this. Cool. Uh, oh. Hello, what's down here? Oh, the steps. Good thing I saw that a minute ago. There we go. I would not have guessed that was there then. Although I should really be looking on the mini map a bit more because you can see there's like a little outline on the map showing that there's this pathway here. Oh, it's money bags again. One last speedway adventure for you, Spyro? It's not that expensive, you know. You've chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Well, you get 400 gems now, 300 to 400 gems, if you complete the speedway. Oh, there's an orb up there. There's no way I can get up there, though. Oh, there must be another way around. Um, there's no way I can glide all the way in here and get to it, so we got this whirlwind. Okay, that takes us back up here. Uh, break these. Clean up this whole world from all the rocks and debris that you got going around. Nice, get these gems. So Ripto being the last boss now, now that we defeated Gold Pool. By the way, it was oh my god, that boss battle was absolutely really hard. Especially compared to the first one, Crush. It's just trying to throw those, well, charge those barrels at him, especially if he wasn't in range, and you have to get it on on marker with him, like trying to aim it at him properly. Learn the value of orb spyro. This touchy gate should work perfectly with the help of your impressive orb collection. See, at least the professor doesn't need my gems; he just needs the orbs that I've collected, which I have no other use for. And even then I get to keep the orbs, I don't think he really takes them off me. Uh, right, we need to get these gems here. I think this leads up to Ripto's boss room door. Yeah, Ripto's arena. Just collect all these gems. We're not doing Ripto yet. Alright Spyro, now that you've got the orbs, Ripto's demise is only moments away, right? Right? Well, anyway, good luck. He's right through this door. I yeah, see so the door may have opened, but I'm not gonna, like, challenge him yet. I just want to get these gems. The thing is, you don't need talismans to actually go against Ripto. You just need to collect the orbs, which is a bit different from the last two bosses we've had to deal with. Oh. Speaking of orbs, there was one right there. I think that whirlwind just takes me up to this wall, or at least I think it does around this wall. Anything? Because there was stuff around the wall in the last world we were in. Uh, no, that's the dead end below. What's down here? Uh, oh, hello. You can go underneath. 
go for a swim. Up we go. Oh, it takes us back to the orb. Right, okay, I got you now. Ideal, that's 48. That's all the three orbs then. We're missing gems. Although, where are they though? I'm not too sure. We may need sparks to help you to find out where they are. Let's just get back up top first. Uh, that way. Oh yeah, in here. How did I miss all this? I probably looked at that little gateway before and I just assumed it was a portal leading off somewhere, but it wasn't. It was actually into a, this cave. Oh, it's still well, all of them. It's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud Temples. Cloud Temples. So vague recollections of that level. I can't remember what it was all about. Uh, right, Sparks, with the rest of the gems, because we are still missing a few. Where are we going, buddy? Oh, it's up above. Okay, I must have missed some at the top. I can just get up all these stairs, my one weakness. Need an elevator. Oh. Oh, right, there we go. Perfect. So that's this world completed, Winter Tundra. Now, if we go on our guidebook, let's do Fracture Hills first. We're missing the 30 gems and one orb here. Alright, so, I mean, we don't... Yeah, I shouldn't have actually broken these guys open because <laughs> you can just travel from world to world now, especially if I've completed them. What we need to do is go speak to Hunter then. And he'll give us the challenge, he'll give us the other orb. Now as for Thank 30 for gems, I need to break... That was it, that was that chest we never broke open before. Oh, I missed those gems there as well, apparently. Come on. Let's knock you down. Don't realize I've missed gems up here before now. I was only thinking about that uh, chest. That metal steel chest that I didn't get before now. Right, I'm not going to free you because you're just going to start playing your bagpipe. So it's this way we need to go. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, because we, we helped her out. Oh, for God's sake. She's been eaten by a bush. No, no. Okay. Just stand still, he says. I'll turn your boots to gold, he says. Oh, hi, Spyro. You're a sight for sore eyes. Oh no, I have to do it again. Oh, if I had known that, I wouldn't have done the alchemist thing before then, and I've just saved it all until I learned how to head bash. I mean, it shouldn't take too long to get done. I've been experimenting with a noob. All right, I know what to do. I need to protect you. You need to go help Hunter out. Now, oh fuck, get back. Where are you going? You go around this side, don't you? Ooh. Get back. Now, there's this one here. Back. You don't go to that guy, do you? Yeah, you come back this way. And then... Go see Hunter. There we go. Alright, that didn't take too long. Man, do my feet feel better. I mean, it gives me an orb, but it's not the orb that I need. As long as you're here, would you like to help me take out these stubborn? Yeah, this All is right. it. This is the one we need. When I shoot an earth shaper with an arrow. You head bash him before he gets back up. Remember, head bash by jumping and then pressing the action button. Okay, difficulties four. So you're gonna shoot them. I need to head bash them. 
Oh, nice. Who are you doing it to now? Down you go. On you. Where are you going now, Hunter? Which one are you going to shoot next? This guy. He's down. Revenge of Hunter after uh, what the Earth Shapers did to him. Uh, I'll ride that one over there. That's all of them. We make a great team. That wasn't actually too bad. I was gonna give this to the alchemist, but I'm a bit annoyed at him at the moment. All oh, right, because of how he left you originally. That's all the orbs here, so we just need now the gems, which we need to get that steel chest open through that door over there. Yeah, over there it is. Now we need to get the power up activate, which means we need to kill more guys. Three more. There might be some over here, might need, need to kill. Come on. It's another... One more. Heal up Sparks while we're here. Right, if I kill him, that power up should be activated. We can even use it. What the hell? I didn't realize your attack was throwing bees at me. Alright, it should be activated now so we can use it for the steel chest. I'm not going the long way around. I'm just going to... Oh, maybe I am. Okay. Because I'm wondering if there's a shortcut, maybe, to get there. How can I do this now? Because it's right there, through that door. What if... Can I make this jump if I turn on the corner fast enough? If I do this... There we go. Oh, but don't land in the lava! Okay, right, well that's not good. Is there a, um... Yeah, there is. Just to heal Sparks up. Okay, I can do it, I just need to not land in the lava. I was just hoping to see if there's another pig or something nearby so I could heal up... Uh, Sparks. It can be done. It's happened. oh my god. Right. Get in there. And you there as well. No! How on earth? Well, that was slightly embarrassing. Alright, here we go. Yes, yes. Broken. There we go. And there's all our gems. The level's now 100% complete. So I think the next one is the Shady Oasis, I think. Like, yeah. Alright. Now, we do need to get to the end of this level. To get to the chest. That we need to break with a head bash ability to get the rest of the gems. As for the orb, I believe that was a challenge from one of these guys. Oh. Thank you for dealing with her. Problem is, to get to the end of this level, I do need to feed this guy so he can break down all the doors. It wasn't as open world as the um, Fracture Hills. There you go, one of the cherries is on the floor for you. Oh, do I have to follow you around, do I? There you go, I've put it on the floor for you already. You eat that now, you get strong. Yeah, there's the chest over there. No, you don't. No, I need to go up here. So I can get to this tree bush thing. Take care of all these guys. Right, you gotta break down that door now. Haha, <laughs> stunned. Miss! Uh, how far was the next door? Ow, that hurt. 
it's over here, isn't it? The next one. Oh, how did I miss that? There we go. Oh, I just realised the guy won't follow me, will he? Unless I'm right next to him. There he is. Dude, I've already cleared the way for you. Feel sparks up. Come on, I'm with you. What I'll do is I will take this along the way, because I know I'm going to have to shoot down the next one. Uh, action button, shoot. There we go. Would you kill that guy for me if I leave him there? I think you do, don't you? Yes, you do. Squashed him. Alright, we've made it. For helping me re okay, you've given me this talisman before, so I don't need that. Yeah, or he says as well. Okay. So we can now finally break this. That's all the gems. Just need the last orb, which this guy over the here was offering me one. Been trapped in rock and will sink if you can't break them free. Head bash the rocks by jumping and then pressing the action button. Follow my lead. Okay. Follow me. And remember, jump and then press the action button to head bash. Okay, you're not actually offering me the orb above your head, or I'm just going to assume. I mean, that's two. Uh, it says follow him, but I mean, he hasn't gone anywhere else. Just seeing all his friends just dropping out of the sky. Two more. One more. There you go. Thanks for freeing us. All I have to give you is this thingy I found. At least it's not a rock. It's an orb! Which means this level... Oh, nice rounded number there. 50 orbs. This level should now be 100% complete. Yes, it is. Nice. Now I'll turn back to Winter Tundra. Brilliant. Ideal. I'm happy with that. This video was going to be a bit of a short one today because we did need to backtrack and get all the other levels finished and I didn't want to progress more into like these levels without finishing off the others first. So I all hope you enjoyed this video today everybody. In the next video we shall be heading on over to Mystic Marsh and many other portals in Winter Tundra. If you did enjoy this video then please leave a like as is much appreciated and I will catch you all in the next video.